Hello everybody and welcome back to Zenotic. We have Drainer versus Tommy on Arrow Walk. This is a very old demo, so there may be broken bits of it. And uh, we're going to start off with a beautiful triple air shot from Drainer landing the first frag on Tommy. Tommy pushing back immediately with some good rail. Tommy, fat necks. Man has got a fat neck. A nice movement there from Tommy. Came out of the teleporter and decided to get the hell out of there. I have a feeling that Drainer probably is uh, going to be running mostly behind Tommy in the armor department right now. This is a demo recorded from one POV, so I can't unfortunately go over and check the status of the other player. Hasn't recorded that information at all. I don't see through walls on this. Beautiful double shots there from Drainer. Nice job, and using the blaster to pull back when uh, when saw Tommy pulling back, making sure to be ready for the fight, ready to take it. Both players missing quite a lot of shots going into this fight, but Drain is going to be able to land a few. Goes for the spawn kill, but doesn't get it. But manages to get the spawn kill from the other side of the world. Drainer's movement's improved a lot since this demo was recorded. Not quite sure when it was. Doesn't have a date on it. I've renamed it and removed the date for some reason. So there is no date, but Drainer is definitely quite old. At least a year old, I would say. Drainer playing incredibly well here. Seeing a lot of beautiful movement. I mean, like I say, the movement's improved, but the, wep the weapon uses, the blaster usage. Certainly very good on a Drainer. Connecting these shots, just getting in there, getting stuck in. Connect one shot, connect the next shot, connect the next shot. Now grabbing all of the items. Very much playing a strategic arrow walk. Somehow dodging that rocket. That's uh, not meant to happen. Tommy is in a sticky situation, but Drainer doesn't want to push it for some reason there. Going to fall out, but can see all of the exits here. Clearly isn't going to be too much of a problem. We have a little bit of a disconnect here. Drainer's mouse breaking, it seems. Or potentially you Ah, mouse unplugged. Here we go. Back into it. Drainer picks up the mega armor. Fair enough of Tommy to leave that one for him. Connecting these rockets. Very, very well here, Drainer is. Oi oi. Neither player landing jack shit in this area. Ooh, Drainer's managed to frag Tommy and on the position he could see the item was still up. Both could see the item was still up, but Tommy managed to get the respawn quite slightly closer. Get over there a little bit quicker. Yeah, I've noticed in the fights around the mega area, neither player is really able to connect any shots. Everywhere else, both player connecting shots back and forth consistently. And I don't know if it's the pressure in that area, but I, I do know it's very difficult to hit shots in that area. You're either shooting up or you're shooting onto stairs. And you've kind of got no backdrop, no walls to hit against to be able to connect uh, any other shots. And it's quite an open area, so spam grenades aren't going to really rattle around and just get your opponent by accident. Is it an accident if you didn't mean to hit them specifically with that one, but you meant to hit them in general? 
An interesting question for you to ponder about spam grenades. Because, you know, you kind of mean them to do some damage. Because otherwise they wouldn't have any effect. But you're mostly using them as an area denial tool. Spam grenades. So, is it really an accident? Or is it really on purpose? One of the ones. Whatever makes more sense there. Drain has racked up a few frags while I've been waffling on about bollocks. This is why I need Drainer to dual cast with me so that I don't just get sidetracked by stuff. And actually keep on focus with the game. Tommy absolutely flying. Like you can see Tommy's movement being so much better than Drainer's in this demo. Because Tommy's backpedaling, literally plus back, holding the backwards button and moving faster around the map than Drain is able to move forwards. So just that that map knowledge of being able to get around the map backwards linked with superior movement of being able to move around the map backwards and be faster. It does show a big difference. Drain is playing incredibly well in every other regard though. Timing. Uh, positioning. Weapon management. Making sure that the timing, I guess timing and positioning together to actually pick up the items. You don't want to just hang around on the item. You can know when the item is and sit there for 10 seconds on it and go, it's coming up next. You're probably going to die because the guy, other guy's going to come around the corner and shoot you. Using sound as well, Drain, a very, very cleverly using sound and noticing no vortex, so goes for the shotgun. Shotgun being effectively the very, very, very budget vortex. Oh, that was a beautiful snap. And Drainer unfortunately snapping off the target there. A common problem with... Uh, new players, especially in stuff like Instagib or TF2 Sniper. People snapping off the target in a bit of a panic mode. Tommy is collecting a lot of armor though, moving around this map really well and collecting a lot of armor. It does feel like Drainer has always maintained control over the map, even when Tommy's been able to get kills. Drain has been able to con maintain control over the map, or at least know where everything is. It's never been out of reach for Drainer to know where things are, what time they're coming up. And um, having a general grasp of that means you can have a general grasp of what someone else's health is. And if you can do that, you know whether to push a little bit more because they're very low. Or to back the hell off because you can't get one more shot in. Drainer did go down there trying to be a little bit... I think Tommy is very low and would have taken... Or was very low before picking up all that armour and health. And would have taken fatal damage from that blow. But Drainer wasn't able to land it and Tommy was. So... That is what happens. Beautiful shots there from Tommy. Lands the spawn shot and manages to finish off with that killer for the top. Drainer spawn delaying, noticing that he's just going to get spawn killed if he goes in for it. Does a bit of damage on the Mega. Very clever there. You may think, oh, Tommy managed to get 100 health. Drainer died. But Drainer managed to do at least 100 damage, completely negating the mega pickup this map could go very close we are now tied tommy has been able to pull it back very quickly unfortunately we're now in a spawn kill situation which really sucks you just have to wait five seconds before you respawn looks like we could be going to overtime though tommy's going to be pushing in very aggressively should get this frag here Drainer's managed to just about stay alive and Tommy's jumped up and been hit by a pretty much direct rocket right there. And Drainer's going to connect with a beautiful rail right there. Now what does Drainer manage to do? Does Tommy manage to capitalise in the last 10 seconds? Drainer's going to 
make the frag. Do not push this. Just stay still. And Tommy's called GG. With five seconds to go. And holy shit, indeed. That was incredibly close. Right at the end, Wolf Snipe. Uh, sorry, not Wolf Snipe. Trainer going down to Tommy again and again and again and again. And Tommy was able to equalise in the last seconds. But Drainer pulled it back. Thank you for watching. Join the community. Zenotic.org. It's got all the information you need to know. See you next time.